I'm here with fabulous author Jeanette Rolison. I asked to interview her on her second to the latest book, My Double Life, because I read that one, <laughs> and it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Jeanette, welcome to Storymakers Featured Good Video. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about the book, and then I'll tell you if you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a girl who doubles for a rock star, who she looks like, and until so she gets to have a taste of that celebrity life, and she's trying to meet her father, who is also a famous rock star, but doesn't know she exists, and, and there's a hot guy involved. So it's really good reading. <laughs> so the rock star's name is Carrie, and her sister, who's really, really nice, from West Virginia, is named Alexia. Carrie's not so nice, Jeanette will tell you that. So I want to know, are you Carrie, or are you Alexia? See, am I a prima donna high maintenance, or am I a smart, overlooked one? Um, yes. <laughs> Those of you may not know that Jeanette Rawlston has several personalities. <laughs> One of them recently came to light as Lola on the internet. <laughs> Can you explain just how the name Lola came about? Um, that was a wild weekend in Vegas, and I thought it was going to stay there. The commercials promised. <laughs> now, I've seen some striking similarities between us, Jeanette. You're an awesome author who's really famous, and I'm a quiet, shy girl who was born in Virginia, which is really close to West Virginia. And I'm just wondering if maybe the book was based on you and me. It is, because we're twins, secretly separated at birth. <laughs> and we look identical, and we also write the same. I wanted to share with you, Jeanette, if I could, a couple of reviews about Jeanette Rollison's book, My Double Life. I got these from Goodreads, and these are actual reviews. Are you okay with that? Okay. I trust my team reviewers. <laughs> when I want to laugh and feel all glowy good inside, I reach for a Jeanette Rawlson book. Oh. Oh. I'm going to go with my I reach for chocolate myself. <laughs> Here's the next one. This is my personal favorite. This book is chock full of wind. You can't tell by looking at the cover image. <laughs> How did you feel about the cover? I was a uh, little mixed feelings about that. The, the sequin dress, good. Um, the like spaghetti strap, a little too revealing, not so good. Um, she's supposed to be Latina, not evident from the cover, but you know, the paparazzi in the background were fun. And spaghetti never goes well on an evening gown. No, no. Or, or uh, like in your lap either. If you're eating spaghetti. That's true, I try to keep it in my pocket. <laughs> I need to finish the quote. You can't tell by looking at the cover image, but I think they actually made the cover out of lycra or something so that they could pack the wind more tightly in there. You know, without busting the spine. <laughs> now, Jeanette, I used to eat chocolate, but I found that chocolate busted my lycra and my spine. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm just gonna hang out with you. Because I'm full of wind. Chocolate full of wind. Chocolate <laughs> full of wind. And one last um, self-promoting blurb about your latest book. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, the latest one? Well, the one the one I just saw that came out, my unfair godmother, something like that. Yeah, my unfair godmother is about the incompetent fair godmother strikes again, another hapless victim. And if you buy the book, it will make you instantly skinny and rich. <laughs> and also, it doubles as lycra and chocolate. <laughs> Thank you, Jeanette, for joining us. Thank you.